Everyone needs a little curry in their life. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Rockadoodle to me was something that even as a child, I knew at the time of viewing it that uh, I was like, this is only acceptable for me to watch right now. And if I get a year older, it's not acceptable anymore. <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna know what Don Bluth movie I used to own on VHS as a kid? Oh no, what? what? Uh, Troll in Central Park. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Golden and Chucky were both like, no, and I was like, Yeah, no, oh. because A Troll in Central Park is Don Bluth's worst film, period. I don't know what the no, fuck no, he was thinking when that movie was made. It's definitely yeah. not one of the few I remember yeah, watching I constantly as a Central kid. Central Park is how much of it was Don and how much of it was the executives, because there was a yeah. that period of time mm. when Don had a lot of, like, other people making decisions for him. Mm. He had a lot of, like, uh, money problems and investment problems. Breakfast or vanilla? Breakfast. Okay. Because who was the producing company for that one? It wasn't Fox, right? For Charlotte Central Park, uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Uh, mm -hmm. that explains it. it. Uh, wasn't it, like, some yeah. Irish company Warner or Brothers. something? Yeah, kind of trash. Whoopi can, can have a hit and miss when it comes to their films. And yes, I called it that sometimes. When I was a kid, I was like, is that say Whoopi? And then they said WB, and that's like, that takes more effort to pronounce. Well, the thing is with Warner Brothers during that time is like, they both, I like to say the 2000s era of animation, especially for Warner Brothers, is like the dream cast of the animation. Uh -huh. uh, Oh. Like, hmm. of um, the American animation renaissance in that it was the most experimental as some of the most memorable things but in many ways was an abject failure. Oh. Yeah. I uh, only realize how influential it is in retrospect. Like the True. Yeah. What came out of the 2000s from Warner Brothers? Uh, uh, Iron Giant, Cats uh, Dance. That was uh, 90s, yeah. not 2000s. Oh, Late 90s. Don't forget Osmosis, Osmosis Jones. Jones. Osmosis <laughs> Jones, yeah. Oh, God. I watched yeah, Osmosis still, Jones I'm in the, theaters. I'm saying that there's like. There's multiple cogs turning that I don't blame Don for some of the, war, the more abject failures of his stuff. She's yeah. right, though. You, yeah. You notice that Don Let's... is his best when there's little other. when there's little cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, Very one of the problem, one of the problems that Don kept running into was just like having a company invest in him and shit. Thank you. I I think I told uh, Saber about that kind of thing. He was like, "Huh, I never thought of it like that." I was like, "Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a damn it." I call that anything that's outside of Disney's realm. I say the Dreamcast because a lot of them became failures. I call Disney's like not like post the four films of the Renaissance like the GameCube era because they all they weren't box office failures but they weren't as good at they didn't make the numbers that previous systems did. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like the animated Hon parts of Osmosis Jones. Osmosis yeah, Jones was you, it wasn't... supposed to be a lot darker too. The... I, I'm... Have you ever seen I bet it was. Girlfriend? Yeah, it was an okay film. See, the biggest problem with Osmosis Jones is the lack of communication. Because, uh, because, you know, they always say that it's the, um, who are the guys who directed Dumb and Dumber? Like, it's a brother team of directors. They oh, one of the early brothers. They like, gross-out comedies back in the day. Audience, you have, a, uh, you have the internet. But they were advertised as the main directors. But they only directed the live-action Bill Murray bits. They didn't direct the animated bits. <laughs> and apparently there was little to no communication between the animation division and the live-action division. Which is why there's such a, a dissonance in quality. Ooh, that makes and a lot of it's sense. it's sad, because I like the cast. <laughs> I do too. I think the one thing that always bothered me about that movie 
And it's just like a personal problem. I did not like the uh, the the politician guy. Oh, the William Shatner character. Uh, okay, I didn't know he was voiced by William Shatner, but yeah. No, like he's part of the like he's such a huge driving force. Yeah. It's just such stupid shit. Like he's part of the reason why Bill Murray's character is unhealthy because he doesn't want to lose his like votes and shit. I, I mean, I personally like it because I feel like that's a good way to justify your brain doing unhealthy habits for a comedy movie. Because if you actually went with, oh, Bill Murray is great has was like already not super healthy. But the loss of his wife made him even more unhealthy, and it was depression. Would have been a completely different movie. But yeah, one of my one of my favorite like gags that involved a political guy. What is when they're watching the ad from the the other guy? That's Rod Howard. Oh. <laughs> as the other guy, and he and when he's like, you know, this is the colon, and and then he has like this little kid going by him, and he's like. Gee, mister, do you think we can see a better future? I think so, Jimmy. And then he twists his head completely 180. I think so. Yep. Yeah, in a later shot. His... He has a neck brace. <laughs> that is, it does. That is, but I mean, like, the the matchup of Chris Rock and... Oh! I always get his name wrong. David Hyde Pierce. David Hyde Pierce. Who played Drix. It's such a great combo. We need David Hyde Pierce to come back at things. Because there was that period in the 90s and 2000s where they just... Put him in stuff because he was the stick bug in Bugs Life and he was a uh, Doppler in uh, Treasure Planet. Oh, uh, who David Hyde Pierce uh, is. Yep. If I remember correctly, he's Frasier's brother in Frasier. Because, <laughs> of yes. course, your audience watches Frasier. They're all Frasier stands. <laughs> but, like, I miss him. He has such a unique voice. I like his voice. Oh, fuck. I wondered if that voice sounded familiar when he, I bet your, with uh, I bet your Dr. Doppler. I very tired of me talking. Well, Nonsense. No. Yeah, nope. That was a bad idea. Let me make your coffee, dear. No, I love this you kind of conversation. Uh, small bug. Little monk? Okay. Yeah, I'm an ant. It's when your animation, so, uh, inner animation nerd comes out. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hold on, what the fuck? What's the point of all this? There you go. Oh my god, really, babe? I love you. I love you too. Um, <laughs> what did you do? So, for during my birthday, I was at an arcade and I uh, won a good number of tickets. And um, I went and got myself a phone holder for my car. And something just for fun, I went and got a giant coffee mug. It and it was. Have a gallon of it, it's so huge. It's like, holy crap, what the fuck did I just bring to the table? This is bigger than I expected. I told you to get the docks and butter <laughs> That's what dish, she said. We already have a butter dish, though. That was but the... They're not shaped like a wiener dog. <laughs> Maybe next time, because... I'm, I'm kidding. I'm I, I know we are, but, uh, like, the next time we go to round one, I'll see if I can try to get one of those. Hell, I could get that just for Mom. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. But... You, you guys want to know how great round round one was such a nice arcade. It, it's, it's fun. We need to go again and actually utilize all the other stuff, like the karaoke machines and the bowling alley. Oh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a lot more active because... Um, well, we went early in the day, so the food the food area wasn't even open either. Well, no, not just that. Like, because since, you know, vaccines have been passed around, people won't have to wear masks that often. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 gonna be like the like in our apartment, um, the pools opened up again because during the pandemic the pool was closed. Swimming. Yeah, and it's just like thank you. It's nice to fucking have that. We've been getting back to normal, but that's because well, California has a very high inoculation rate for the vaccines. So yeah, especially well, the Los it, Angeles area, which just feels good. But well, uh, let me tell. Can I tell your audience about round one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so Please do. think Dave and Buster's, but cleaner. Like, it just feels like... <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, what, did, what did someone say? Uh, they're just laughing it off. Uh, well, it's because wow. Dave and Buster's is fun, but it's to me, I feel like it's a bit overcrowded. Like, it's hard to move around and stuff. This one, I feel, it looks like one just really long corridor, but it has some amazing arcade games. And we didn't even play all of them. Like, we... 
We only did a smattering of them. Yeah. They and have, um, what is it, Mario Kart, uh, there's an arcade Mario Kart game. Oh yeah, we, we played three rounds of that and Lauren got very competitive. No, we all got competitive! I never won, but like, uh... Somebody salty. I am. But no, they have, uh, you know, they have like a... Not only that, they had like chat. They had the Japanese arcade cabinets for like fighting games. And stuff. Yeah, I tried ooh, that. Ooh. Yeah, it was really cool. I wanted to play more of those, but I, you know, I got more obsessed with. Oh games. shit! Uh. And it was fun. And they also, but round one is also like it had it had a food area that wasn't open yet. They had their they start opening at four. We went early in the day, so that way we avoided people. Mm-hmm. Um. It had a bowling alley, and it has it has two karaoke rooms. We didn't do those, but apparent according to Lauren, uh, industry people oh. like to go there to do like just social events, and it it's I I see the appeal. It's really nice, and uh, it was a good deal for tick for the amount of points you get on your card too, because like for thirty dollars you can get like a uh, like hundred and seventy points to use, and you can. Depending on the games you do, you can go through them quick, but we lasted a pretty long time on our own respective cards. Uh, but it was really fun. We're planning, um, there's a social thing me and a few of our, my Lupin friends are planning. So me, Aficionados Chris, Lauren, Chi Chi, Glitchy Bits and stuff. Uh, in Ow. August, because in August they're re-releasing um, the English Double the Lupin the Third movie back into the theaters. So we're going to be going to the AMC that was by round one. And so we may be going to round one again. Which is fun. But it was really cool. <gasps> oh, I think your coffee's ready. Let me go put Okay. Do you like a lot of cream or just a little bit? Uh, a lot of cream. Okay. So and... Go. Wait. Where the fuck is Ridley? Get your ass over here! She ran away. Oh, what a fucking chicken shit. She went to go be in Smash Brothers. You mean he? <laughs> <laughs> Unknown <laughs> item? Okay. Um. Okay, I overfilled it a little bit, but... Uh... Just take a little sippy sip. Okay, that's not overfilled. Oh, I was worried it was overfilled. Yeah, it's overfilled if it's like, if there's nothing to see in there. Yeah, but I used your cute little thermal cup. Yep, thank you. But that place sounds cool. It does sound cool. What sounds cool? Uh, uh round one. Oh yeah, well we'll definitely go there again. Oh absolutely, I'm all for the it. The mall itself it was in was actually cool. They had like power banks that you can rent out to charge your phone. More malls need to do that. Yeah, or just better you just have a station where they just have just. Well, open I, cords and you can just plug one in. I know, but I like the power banks because that means you can still walk around the mall. But there, there was also a Tokyo Lifestyle store there that was really cute. Had a bunch of Godzilla stuff. Oh, hello. So which Metroid Oh, game great. Was they used the same sound effect like before. This is uh, Zero Mission. It's a remake of the first one. Get up uh, there! Fuck you! Get off me! Jesus! No. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, so, something I will mention is, really so in my, I know, I, it really looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card came to life in, in a Nintendo game. Okay, well, yeah. I didn't last long at all, Jesus. Oh no, he freed your booba. He freed, what? Your booba. <laughs> but, uh. You did. How far are you in new Pokemon Snap? I'm before the volcano. That's sorry if I'm taking over your stream. I just like hanging out with you. Okay. Well, oh, I do have a call. So, oh. Uh, That's true. I could just go into your call and hear everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> that means I have to hear Riley and and and, and a Charky. Do I really want that? Well, I don't mind listening to a Charky, but Riley's savage behavior. Well, I got a mute button. Oh, Charky's a furry. So are you. So are you, <laughs> babe. Riley. What fucking double standard is that? <laughs> Love you, Charky. <laughs> Miss you. I was a. To my, cre to my to my credit, Miss I was a furry Big first and a brony no second. Lie. Big booty, no lie. Oh, uh, that's Jesse. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Hi, Chief I mean, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> what? It says what no lie, so I guess it's honest. 
maybe I'll, let me make a cup of coffee. You mind if I join your Discord call? Go ahead. I always welcome uh, people in the call. Yeah, I'm just working on a thumbnail for Derek right now because I'm, I'm not too hungry for dinner yet. That's fine. I got chips uh, with me anyway. Ow, fucker. Yeah, I'll start cooking at, what time is it right now on your computer? Yeah, uh, it's seven. Uh, I'll start cooking at like eight. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. 